In this video, we will be talking about mono hybrid cross with an example of P pod color. Let's start with a simple question. What is going to be the pod color of the offspring if we cross two P plants, one with green pod color and other with the yellow pod color? Welcome back to Genetics 101. In today's lecture, we'll be focusing on the mono hybrid cross with an example of P pod color. P pod color is determined by a single gene with two possibilities of alleles. One allele is green, denoted by uppercase G, and another is yellow, denoted by lowercase G. Now, let's consider mono hybrid cross between two P plants which differs in P pod color. In this example, let's say we have a green pod plant denoted as uppercase GG and we have yellow pod plant denoted as lowercase GG. The green pod plant is homozygous for the green allele which is dominant allele and yellow pod plant is homozygous for the yellow allele which is recessive allele. To determine the potential of the spring, we can use a Ponnet square. By crossing green pod plant denoted as uppercase GG with yellow pod plant denoted as lowercase GG, there is only one type of allele combination. As you can see, all the offsprings in the F1 generation will have one copy of green allele denoted as uppercase G which is which is a dominant allele and also one copy of recessive allele which is yellow pod color denoted as lowercase g making them heterozygous for the pod color. Now let's talk about phenotypic ratio since all the individual in the F1 generation has green allele and yellow allele and the green allele is dominant over the yellow allele therefore all the offspring will be green pod color because green is a dominant allele over the recessive yellow allele in f1 generation all the plants are green and they are heterozygous for the trait that means it has both green allele and yellow allele if we cross these p plants or self those p plants then we can see the possibilities in F2 generation. And for this one, we can use a Ponnet square. In F2 generation, there will be segregation of the alleles. Since the plants are heterozygote, which has uppercase G and lowercase G, there will be three different combinations of alleles. First one is going to be uppercase G and uppercase G. Second is going to be heterozygote, one uppercase G and one lowercase G and the third one is going to be lowercase G and lowercase G. This makes three different type of genetic combinations and the final ratio is going to be one is two, two is two, one. And phenotypically the ratio is going to be very different since there are three offspring with dominant allele that is uppercase G which governs the green color three individual out of four will be green in color and only one individual which has both recessive alleles lowercase G and lowercase G will be yellow color this is the mono hybrid cross of a specific trait in P and by using this law of inheritance and using a Ponnet square we can use different traits in P and we can identify the potential outcomes of the offsprings. If you like our content on genetics, stay tuned for next lecture and we'll be talking about dihybrid cross. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like our content, please like, comment, subscribe and share and support us. Thank you.